Today I'm delighted to be able to tell you that I'm going to be joined by Lord Alf Dubbs, a British Labour politician and former Member of Parliament. Lord Dubbs sits in the House of Lords, where he's a fierce and staunch advocate for the rights of refugees, in particular child refugees. Lord Dubbs himself is a refugee. He arrived to the UK in 1939 on the kinder transport with other Jewish children who were fleeing the Holocaust. Is there anything you know now that you wish you'd known when you arrived to the UK? All in all, I was very lucky. I had some, there were some bad moments, but, but I was very lucky. Now, the only thing is I, I held back on things because I felt that as a refugee who came here at the age of six, maybe there were certain doors that wouldn't be open to me. And after persuasion by friends of mine, I was told just to go ahead. I'm talking about going into politics, for example. I was a bit too conscious that as a refugee, what chance would I have? And I think that was wrong. I think it was better to go ahead and have a go at things. What's your assessment of the current state of the UK's refugee system? I think, unfortunately, refugees, as in, as in other parts of Europe, have become a political football. We have to look at refugees as being human beings who happen by an accident of history to have found themselves in war zones, to have found themselves victims of persecution, uh, and indeed, uh, in the future, victims of climate change as well. And people will want to move for safety and to have better lives. And I think we have to have decent policies, both as regards refugees, people who want safety and decent life, as well as we have to look into the wider world that people will be on the move and we have to be accepting of them. And we have to make sure that people who, who get this country are given a sense of welcome. Do you think you'd have been welcomed as a child refugee today? I think once I'd got here, I might have been welcome. But I think getting here might have been might, might have been quite a difficult process. I might, I might have been stuck in Calais unless I'd be willing to take a chance on the back of a lorry or on a dinghy. What would you say to people who claim to be British, you have to be born here? I, all I say to people is, I think for all its faults, I think this is a terrific country. I want to do everything I can to make it better for everybody. Uh, and I identify totally, totally with Britain. And so I think the important thing is one's, one's sense of identity. If one identifies as being British, if one identifies with this country, one is well on the way to answering the question as to, as to how, one, how one should move forward. But in the end, one can't undo the accident of one's birth. One does not choose one's parents. One doesn't choose one's place of birth. These are all accidents of history, and it could happen to anybody. Uh, and I'd say to anybody who says to me, well, you know, you're not British because, because they were born here and I was I say, well, you might have been born somewhere else as well. It's pure, it's pure luck over which we have no, no control. My belief is um, my identity is, is what it is. Uh, and that's why I can't be English. I'm British. Do you think people are forgetting the horrors of the Holocaust? I think human memories are short. It's very easy to forget. You see, I'm old enough to, to A, no members of my family who died in Auschwitz uh, and other people who, who, who either died in the camps or managed to survive them if they went to the end of the war. But it's too easy to forget if you were born long after these things ceased to be contemporary news. Too easy to forget this. So I think we have to make sure that these horrible things are kept, are kept in people's memories, as are more recent horrible things that happened in Rwanda and elsewhere, uh, so that we've got to see them as part of the same blight on humanity that happened with the Holocaust uh, and terrible things that are happening to people in, in other parts of the world as well more recently. So I think it's very important. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Lord Dubbs, and I think people are going to learn so much about what we've spoken about here today. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your interest. And anything that publicises campaigning on behalf of child refugees is only for the good. So thank you for doing it and thank you for giving me the chance to say a few things. And good luck to you.